to Jesus Ministry, this is not about us, this is about Jesus. Um, I know that it is the holiday week of Christmas. And today is the day right before Christmas Eve and you're all out there getting ready. And I want to talk about family squabbles and how to deal with them. You're going to start seeing things break through. You're going to start seeing a side of people you've never known. Right now, God is exposing, again, exposing things in people. Um, he is exposing what they've always been about, what they're really about, and what they're doing behind the scenes. But the devil is no longer doing it behind their back. It's right in your face. And he's, well, there's a lesson I did before, and it's been a little while, but I'm going to share it. It's called, um, about how the devil is subtle. He is subtle 95% of the time. Only 5% of the time is he aggressive. Why is that? Well, if he can get you gully, which is gullible, to believe what's going on and be cool with it, then he's all right. But the other 5% of the time, he is aggressive. So, for example, say there is family members that um, they don't have the level of faith you have. And behind your back, you know you're being talked about. You know when you're being degraded. You've got your kids telling your husband, your wife, whoever telling you about this. Well, I want you to do something. And you're like, what? And Matthew, it says, the meek will inherit the earth. I just said, the meek will inherit the earth. So instead of getting angry and showing out, at all costs, be peaceable this year. And if you have to sever the ties, sever it later on. But do not let the devil get you angry. Do not, do not respond. Because what they're expecting of you, the demons, the minions, the devil and his minions, are expecting you to cause a scene, have an outburst. What I want you to do is get to the fate of Jesus, cast all your cares on him, focus on your household, like your kids, your husband, whoever is with you in your immediate household. Um, and focus on that only and focus on Jesus first and foremost. If we can keep our eyes on Jesus in the storm, we can surpass any of this. Right now, your faith is being tested. You're being seen, all right, what can I do? How will I react? And God wants to see how you're going to handle it. Now, it even talks about in the Bible when Jesus had been done fasting, he was tempted of the devil, and then it left him for a season of tempting. So, that being said, there are times that the devil is allowed to tempt us to see what we will do. I'm not saying God will let anything bad happen. That's not what I'm saying. But I am saying God will work all things together for the good of those that love him according to his purpose. Catch that. According to his purpose. He will work all things together for the good of those that love him according to his purpose. So, that being said, God will work it out. The way he sees fit it may not be what you're expecting and it may be better and you can't limit God don't put God in a box he's too big to be inside of a box don't put Jesus in that welcome the Holy Spirit worship um, today the song came to me in prayer was Waymaker it's Waymaker miracle worker promise keeper light in the darkness my God that is who you are. Worship the Lord through the storm. Um, and don't let the devil take your joy. Don't let him take your peace. He's going to use the one person that's going to do you the most damage. That's going to hurt you the most. That's how he works. And you got to remember, you're not fighting against flesh and blood. Which is fine to get upset. I get that. But hold your tongue. Bridle that tongue. Don't say anything. Hold that physical... Um, confrontation you're wanting to do and don't do it just be chilled let it go focus on Jesus if you hadn't noticed this year the devils have been stirred guys the refreshing is coming what do you think is going to happen when God has called you out to teach preach serve him in any form or matter the devil's going to get angry he's going to get angry if you're giving out Bibles if you're praying if you're giving scripture people are calling you and asking for advice and help they would never call you if any of this is happening, and then you got people that, you know, they're very envious, very jealous of you. They roll your eyes at you. They look at you kind of snooty. They can't look you straight in the face. These people are under demonic influence. Don't let them deceive you. And the sad thing is, it can be your parents. It can be your aunts and your uncles. It can be your grandparents. It could be a sibling. 
okay? I'm being legit with you right now. Spiritual warfare is real. And how you handle it says how much you've been training it. Get your sword out. Get your oil out. Get my oil out. Y'all know I got it with me. It's in my pocket, huh? I get it out. Get your oil out. Anoint your head, hands, and feet. And just continue to give it to God. Stir up the gifts that you have from the Holy Spirit. Read your sword, your Bible. Um, and double up the love for the hard ones to love. Those that are despitefully using you. What's he tell us to do? What's he tell us to do about our enemies? We're supposed to love these people and pray for them. It ain't easy to practice what Jesus preached. It ain't easy. They didn't like him. They're not going to like you. Whenever you're that strong and anoint you for the Lord. But don't you dare quit and give in and let the devil take over. Because I got news for you. He's a loser. In Jesus' name, he loses. The end of the book says we win. It says Jesus wins. God wins. The devil and the false prophets and stuff, they will end up in the pit of hell forever. They're going to end up down there. Don't let them stir you up in the wrong direction. And I know as myself, as a woman of God, as a daughter, as a sister, as a mother, as a friend, sometimes it's hard that the people that he uses to kick to agitate me. But in the end, I had to ask God for me. He said, Lord, help me not do this. I want to say something, but will this do me any good? Don't be talking at all on deaf ears. Be leery. Be cautious. Because he says, Behold, I send you forth as sheep in the midst of wolves. Therefore, be wise as serpents and gentle as doves. That's a whole verse right there. Not two separate. But it's been broke down to where people think it's two. So, listen up. Get your armor on. The full armor of God. Ephesians chapter 6. Play the blood of Jesus afresh and thank Him for it. And ask God if there's anything in you that's being agitated that shouldn't be. Ask Him if it's you. If there's something you're supposed to learn from this situation. And how to handle it. And how to deal with it. He'll answer you. But be blessed to have a merry, merry Christmas. Happy birthday, Jesus. Please, don't fall into every trap and scheme that Satan has for you.